Hi and welcome to this series. We are actually securing Amazon uh, Identity and Access Management using Centrify and Active Directory. For this we need Active Directory and we need uh, uh, Centrify Cloud Connector uh, already connected to your infrastructure and an Amazon uh, AWS uh, tenant as well. Uh, the, the steps are very simple. First we need to configure a, a federation uh, agreement between um, Centrify Identity Service and Amazon AWS, and it's a three-step approach. We're first going to create the application, so we go to Cloud Manager and we're going to add web apps. We're going to type AWS here, and uh, we're going to use uh, the SAML plus provisioning template. Uh, I'm going to press yes in here, and the first thing I need to do is, once I close in here, is I like to give things a descriptive name, so I'm going to call this uh, AWS uh, role-based SSO. So just to give it a name. In the application settings, all we need to provide is the uh, ID of your uh, AWS tenant. So I have it in queue here. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. So there's several ways we can go about this, but we're going to use a Centrify provided uh, certificate and we're going to download the metadata, right? So I'm going to just go ahead and save the file. This is going to put it in my downloads. Uh, uh, so far, all I need to do is uh, deal with the account mappings, right? So, um, you know, we have uh, the ability to uh, use uh, different ways to identify our users, but as part of what I outline on the blog, I am actually saying that my users should uh, use the short name as um, the way to um, to accomplish that. So I, I'm just going to go and copy, you know, reuse my own work here. So I'm going to go to the advanced tab here. Oh, actually, no. In the user account mapping script, I'm gonna I'm gonna type in uh, login user dot username is the short name. So I'm gonna test it. I already have Active Directory users here, so let's go ahead and do that. So the short name is typically the the, the Sam account name as well. So the user here, although the UPN is the worth at Centrify VNS, uh, uh, my expectation is that they're gonna be identified as the worth. Uh, and, and, and notice that I verified that this is going to be correct. So this uh, is the first piece that I need to actually uh, configure uh, on, um, on here. The next part is in AWS, right? So I need to be able to set up a, um, a federation agreement or an IDP. So this is my AWS console. I'm going to go to Identity and Access Management. And this is basically a clean uh, instance. There's no users. Uh, no groups, no IDPs, no nothing, right? So uh, that that is, you know, pretty much the way I, th I want things to stay because I don't want to have to manage users and groups and, you know, roles around here. I'm just going to uh, use my identity provider. So I'm going to create an identity provider. Um, you know, a provider type is going to be SAML. Uh, we're going to give it a name. Right, and we're going to choose a file, and this is going to correspond to the download that I made uh, before um, on uh, uh, of the metadata. So I'm going to update, upload this, and I'm going to pre press next. Once it's verified, at this point I got to deal with roles, right? So what I'm going to do here to keep the videos very uh, short, I'm going to stop here, and then we're going to deal with roles, and then we're going to do the verification.